Well, hello and happy Arbor Day! Let's take a look at some awesome tree crochet patterns to celebrate this happy, happy tree day. We're starting with a hollow tree that houses different critters, like a cute little owl and some uh, some of his friends. And here they are all snuggly snuggled in there. <laughs> it's adorable. It's very cute. And it's, uh, well, it's I suppose it's all in the spirit of Arbor Day. Completely different tree here, sort of applique one. We prepare to crochet a massive amount of leaves. You can use it as a wall hanging or anything uh, else you want to use it for. Completely different kind of little amigurumi tree there, bit of an abstract shape to it, but very nice. Um, I love the, the the circles on there and uh, uh, the color scheme, and it's it's just very adorable. I have to say I'm very much uh, a big fan of this uh, um, quite realistic looking birch tree, including critters and uh, different seasons. And uh, so it has owls and, and woodpecker. I think the last one was a woodpecker. I'm not very good in in, in, uh, in bird type and bird species, but I think that's a woodpecker and that's uh, definitely a family of owls, one of which is enjoying a little swing there. Uh, here is the same birch tree in Autumn. Let's see if we can. The photo is not very great, but uh, I love the idea of having different um, seasons of birch tree there. <laughs> uh, oh, the owl is cute as well, and uh, it's a beautiful specimen also in autumn. And it is in like let's well, say summer or spring, and this is winter, very very bare. <laughs> An applique one, almost like an Irish crochet. This one, you can use it for anything. Um, put it on a card, put it on your jacket, put it on a, something yeah, you want to put a tree on. Uh, or crochet yourself this gorgeous little, um, what's it called? Uh, bonsai tree. Very, very nice. Very cute. And very decorative. Another more realistic one is also from Mix Creatie. She's a Dutch crochet designer and she has crocheted, uh, designed this crochet tree. Uh, also different um, uh, seasons. I suppose this uh, it's in bloom, so that's probably um, spring, summer. Lots of critters in there as well. It's, it's adorable. Oh, here's another one in uh, with uh, different blossoms. Here it is in uh, full leaves, full of leaves and birds. <laughs> it's, too, it's adorable. Uh, it's very cute. Here's another um, uh, tree there. Uh, also hollow. Um, it comes with its own acorn, <laughs> apparently. It has, a, it has some critters there as well. Um, the, the, the cute chipmunks and uh, koalas even there <laughs> who live near this tree. It's quite adorable. A different kind of but no less funky tree is this one. Um, you can park your little uh, um, uh, car in there, almost like a redwood uh, thing, but also fill it with critters or with other stuff, um, like this uh, little toad or little froggy that has found its perfect home. Another kind of funky I'm a groomy type uh, tree is this one. Big eyes, big everything, uh, big statement. And this is more of a fantasy tree, but I wanted to include it because it has gorgeous colors and a uh, very imaginative uh, type of, um, uh, and, and is a very imaginative type of design. I love this. Um, I love this crochet designer, Fanduka Maderska. She is um, fantastic. Um, also with the over the top, um, uh, embellishments with the buttons and the thingies and the and the other stuff uh, and the colors are always on point and this is close-up of the owl in the little birdhouse now let's go back to more um, uh, subdued type of crochet this is a sort of cabled tree um, uh, abstract pattern crocheted in um, in a in a pillow form very nice very subdued very modern sleek scandinavian uh, kind of feel to it but and uh, very very decorative here's a very simple elegant um uh, shape of tree you can decorate it with different embellishments and create a different vibe for every um, individual one very very nice and decorative on a shelf or as a little present on arbor day to your favorite tree loving person Here's a close-up of an afghan, and this one is quite elaborate with tree patterns here. I wanted to include it because it's gorgeous. <laughs> D 
different color. I have to say I love the white the white color the best, and the trim is is no less spectacular. But uh, this one gives uh, this blue one gives perhaps a little bit better view of what the pattern looks like. It's gorgeous. And here it is in green and with black uh, trim. And we don't all only have western trees. We also have quite exotic trees like this gorgeous palm tree, including coconuts. <laughs> I love this uh, this sort of staggered um, uh, stem of the stem. Is that the stem? Uh, um, this part of the tree. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And a gorgeous uh, leafy uh, coconut thing there. Here's another Grafgan uh, tree, including the root system and a uh, gorgeous, uh, gorgeous tree there. Uh, oh, this is autumn. So there's diff probably a different tree of life in different stages of life. And I wanted to include these because they're fun little applique trees, also with the coconut tree, but also apple trees and other kinds of trees and little with mushrooms. Um, applique, perfect for whatever you want to use appliques for. They are adorable. Um, this is almost Christmassy with the with the stylized um, uh, fir, uh, fir tree. What do you call them? Um, fir tree. Uh, tree is, I don't know, Christmas trees. <laughs> Very, very sort of Scandinavian feel to it. Very decorative, especially uh, if you like a black and white accent in your in your home. Um, these are awesome and very gorgeous, I think. Here's another uh, uh, palm tree. This one is located on your own special um, uh, island <laughs> with little shells and starfish. Uh, adorable. Um, and uh, of course, you can add your own. Coconuts, if thus desired. Here's a close-up of another um, Afghan uh, uh, tree. Afghan. This one is uh, very elaborate with little bubble stitching. I love it. It's very cute. Another round tree. Um, it's not very high. Seven centimeters. That's what two inches. No, no, it's more. It's three three inches. Um, and uh, very sleek lines, and uh, you can make your own little forest there. And you can decorate them, of course, if you want. Uh, if you want to do that, there they are. This one's a little higher, nine and a half centimeters. The Japanese red maple, another little um, bonsai, another little bonsai tree there, very colorful and uh, very decorative. Here's an applique um, tree lo losing all its uh, autumn leaves. <laughs> it's great to make as a little uh, work of art to hang on your wall. Um, very, very fun. I think she also has uh, this Golden Lucy Crafts has also patterns for different seasons. So this one is the autumn tree and wind. And the wind is interesting to crochet <laughs> but you get the idea now this little tree is hollow and has its own little tree dweller inside here they are together and here they are also together but <laughs> you can't see the little doll anymore it has these uh, um, cords that you can pull and close it it is almost like it's sailing away in its own little tree type uh, balloon basket isn't it <laughs> it's very very cute now, completely different kind of tree. I wanted to include it because the Tree of Life pattern is incredibly popular and this is what you can do with it, uh, amongst other things, of course, but you can crochet inside of a uh, very boho type of jacket, very um, uh, artisan look to it. I love these colors. You can, of course, choose the colors that you, uh, that you like. And here it is in different colors with, a, you know, different kind of... Um, jacket i suppose different kind of uh, jacket different uh, other colors as well the tree remains the center of focus but i have to say this is definitely my my uh my style of colors and she's using it for a sort of cosplay uh, elven elven theme thing um i wanted to include this one as well a bit of a christmas tree th vibe to it but uh these trees are gr growing all year round so there's really no need to, to only get them out for christmas very decorative. I love the um, the little uh, burlap sack on the on the on the bottom, and very 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 nice. 
And here the Tree of Life uh, crochet pattern again. This time it's woven into, crocheted into a mandala, a mandala kind of a thing. So you have this um, uh, round um, circle of iron or some, some other thing. You crochet the, the whole thing in there. And you can use it to hang on your wall um, or to uh, uh, put on your table, like here, as a decorative piece. It's very, very, well, decorative. <laughs> Okay, there we are. That's it for today's Arbor Day crochet pattern roundup. I wish you, of course, a very happy Arbor Day. And uh, um, I wanted to inspire you to uh, perhaps crochet some nature to put into your home or to to give away to some uh, to uh, or to give away as inspiration for a friend or a loved one. Um, I hope to see you again soon, and um, I wish you happy crocheting. <laughs>